Well, holidays are a time for excitement and celebration, but for many, especially the elderly, it can be a source of loneliness, stress and sadness. In today's Healthy Living, we travel to Harsha Behavioral Center to discuss how the holidays may not be so happy for everyone. On the holidays, some common symptoms of depression in the elderly could be persistent sadness, uh, being tearful at times, withdrawal or isolation from family and friends, weight changes, um, appetite changes, you might see the weight go up or down, changes in sleeping habits, sleeping too much or too less. Well, some of the first steps in caring for the elderly person who's depressed would be seeing a medical professional, a family doctor, a general psychiatrist, or a geriatric psychiatrist who specializes in the elderly. Uh, they will be doing a, a depression screening, a complete physical, because sometimes depression can be associated with medical conditions. But some of the things that you can do to help them as a family member is talk to them. A lot of people, depression um, can be taboo, so they're, they don't want to talk about it. Uh, spend more time with them. If you feel like you have a loved one who needs help, see a medical professional, call your family doctor, uh, they'll put you in touch with a psychiatrist or a geriatric psychiatrist who specializes in depression in the elderly. Here at Harsha Behavioral Center, we specialize in the treatment of depression in the elderly. For more information on our facility, you can call us at 812-298-8888. Or you can check out our website at harshacenter.com. The views expressed in this program are those of the presenters and sponsors and are not necessarily those of WTHI-TV or its corporate parent. This program is for informational and entertainment purposes only and is not intended to replace or substitute for any professional medical, financial, legal, or other advice. WTHI-TV makes no representations or warranties regarding this program.